Good afternoon, everybody. It's afternoon because I didn't get started with y'all this morning. I kind of got started without you. I just been uh, nag nagging, picking around here, working on a little bit of everything. Not really knowing what I was going to get into today. Waiting on a bunch of stuff for other things, and uh, got to looking at a uh, pressure washer I had back here that. Uh, the pressure washer part the pump whatever you want to call it down in the bottom had froze and bust and it still got a good motor on it. it's got a little honda motor on it so i drug this little critter out and got the pump and all that mess off of it and i got it down to just the shaft and my plans for that is to use it for my chicken plucker so i thought it was as good as day as any to maybe begin on my chicken plucker uh, i'm planning on building a temporary at first i'm going to use a uh, plastic uh, tub as opposed to my big stainless steel tub and just due to the price of that stainless steel tub I want to make sure everything is working as I want it to with the plastic tub before because everybody usually builds something and they're like well if I would have done this so this plastic is going to be my if I would have if you will so I can run it for a batch or two of birds and, and see what I wanted to change or improve or anything like that and then I can redesign it into my stainless steel tub so let me catch you up to where I'm at right now this is my little pressure washer I had uh, it's got this little Honda motor on it starts great runs great and all that mess so I've got the uh, hose and everything jerked off the pump and here was my dilemma somewhere Right in here is where I, there we are, froze and bust. It's cracked all the way down this housing, right through there. So, discarded, uh, throw that in a scrap pile somewhere. It may get used for something one of these days, but uh, if I were to have ran an electric motor, which I had an electric motor I was gonna use for this, then I would have had to pretty much have run a generator to run the electric motor so i figured i might as well just have a gas powered motor on it this is sitting here i've actually got another one of these back here from years ago that's got a little honda motor on it and it runs great also don't have plans for it yet but will eventually uh somewhere right over there uh there is a plastic tub we're gonna go grab that here in a second and get some chicken fingers out and start drilling a whole bunch of holes Here's my permanent over here. It's gonna to have to have some modifications. It'll be lowered down, but it's already got the drain. It's it's got the cone shape, if you will, to the bottom. And it'll make a great chicken plugger. And I may even have a shaft in here to begin with. Alright, y'all pretty much just be as surprised as I do. I don't remember how many of these I ordered. I've had them for a few months. Just sitting on the project list waiting to go. These are, man, I got a lot of sun to deal with. Should be three quarter inch chicken fingers. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, Amazon, I believe, is where I got these. I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to have to count, I guess, to figure out how many I've got because I don't remember. Uh, there's my stainless steel bottom plate. I'm going to have to trim it down. Should be entertaining getting that thing drilled out three quarter inch holes. I will uh, not make y'all suffer through that. But there's the beginnings of a chicken plucker. It's just gotta be put together. Apparently if I'd learn how to read, I could see it on the side of the package that there's 50 in a box, I've got two boxes. So I've got a figure out my layout and see what I've got to get done to get a hundred in here without having to order some more. It is getting pretty late in the day and I don't know how much feather I'll make it, but I'm going to keep plucking along. No pun intended. It is bright down here. Lord of mercy. I've got my uh, pizza pie laid out here. Uh, this is uh, right at eighth inch thick stainless. So it should be entertaining drilling all these holes, but it's all part of it. Uh, I'm sure some poor engineer worked for two or three years for a company somewhere to decide the uh, perfect layout for these. And uh, well, sorry for you, bud. 
I made a rough guess. I looked at a picture or two, and uh, I just laid them out how I felt would be best. And we're going to go from there. I'm going to start uh, marking these spots, and I'm going to start punching some pilot holes before I go punching three-quarter inch holes. See how this goes. These aren't drilling real bad, even though it's eighth inch stainless. Uh, got a good quality bit on here. And I've just been putting a little dab of do WD for lube on my holes here. Just to kind of keep the blade, the blade tip lubricated. And not just scorching hot so I don't burn it up. That fans you got mad. come out here and I was punching holes all in the deck. I'm just kidding. I've got a little scrap. Uh, it's actually one by six down here. So I'm not punching holes all in the deck. And I'm not going full on with this drill either. Had to heat her up a whole lot also. I picked these little brushless DeWalt's up the other day. I didn't have a cordless drill anymore mine finally died on me and it is nice I'm liking it so far let go so we're just cruising right along here I don't know how far I'm gonna make it today Mr. Rooster said not too much further because it's getting close to dinner time for him Anytime you're drilling on metal, try to keep your, your bit, blade, whatever, if possible, lubed up, cooled down. It'll last you a whole lot longer. All right, I got one hole wallered out three quarter inch and did a little test fit with her. Just put a little WD on her. Lay it right in. That's how they mount. They, uh, they just got this little groove that they set in there. And they just kind of wedge and lock in place. So now I just need to drill 47 more holes. And I'll have the bottom plate down. Then I got to get this bottom plate cut. Whew. Well, I kept pushing forward anyway. As you can tell from the goats screaming. They have not been fed yet. Get him, Ruski. Look, I got her cut down to dimension that she needs to be. Stainless steel's always fine. I've got a few of these holes wallered out. I stopped and went ahead and decided to cut it out, letting that drill cool down a little bit because I've been working her like a slave. But uh, I've got my other grinder over here with my clean up wheel on it and I'll get this edge slicked over and cleaned up and then I um, got a bunch of holes to drill that's crazy little Amos he's too busy playing with his mama I don't know what she got Amos Whatever she had, she's not sharing. <laughs> Come here, baby. What are you doing, Mr. Amos? What are you doing, Mr. Amos? What are you little monkeys doing? Aren't they cute? Lord of mercy. Turn my pants off back here. So, <clears throat> what I was getting at here when poor little Amos was coming running at me this is where I made it to today. Uh, I've got the whole started water now, and got it cut out, I've got the edge just cleaned up. Doesn't seem like a good stopping point to make because I'm tired. Probably tomorrow afternoon, I'll get back on part two here and 
get this plate finished up and start on whatever in the world I'm going to do next. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we will see you guys tomorrow.